What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. Today we're going to do a little bit of a tool review on the Snap-on uh, Tech Angle Torque Wrench. So we're going to go over some of its features, what I like about it, why I bought it. Um, when I was looking into torque wrenches, I had an electronic Craftsman torque wrench that I didn't like too much. And um, I was looking at upgrading. So when my Snap-on guy, of course, says, go ahead, spend this $500 on this torque wrench, I was, I was, uh, I was, I was kind of worried about it because the only information that I could really find on it at the time, because it was brand new, was their, what I would call, um, over, um, it was their overdone videos, their real promotional type videos that says all of the great things about the torque wrench. Um, I really didn't find anything wrong with the torque wrench after I bought it. Um, I had a little bit of a problem with the battery compartment and uh, for some reason when I would put force down on it, the torque wrench would turn off. Um, I sent it back into Snap-on, they took care of the issue, um, but that's the only real issue I ever had with the torque wrench. So let's go over exactly um, what you get, um, why it's awesome, and why I would recommend it to you because ultimately um, if, I, if I recommend anything or if I'm reviewing something, um, I want it to be legit. If, if I don't recommend it to you, I'm going to tell you, uh, don't spend your money on it, I did. Uh, but you get it in a nice black blown molded case, um, comes with everything you need. Um, we don't really need to do, we're not doing a uh, tech review on, these, on the blown mold case, so we're going to put that aside. So I like to take care of my, really my expensive tools, uh, wipe them down often, um, keep, them, keep them in great shape so that uh, they last a lifetime. <clears throat> this torque wrench is uh, is pretty awesome. This tech angle uh, will uh, basically show you exactly the degrees that you're turning the torque wrench, which I'll show you uh, later on in the video exactly what you uh, how you operate that and how that works because um, that's really important for head bolts. You torque the the initial torque to 90 foot pounds or whatever it might be, and then you have to go 90 degrees further or 180 degrees further, and you can set that. You can set that angle and the torque wrench will count it even though you have to go back a couple clicks or something like that. So <clears throat> this is an 80, 80 tooth torque wrench so um, it's really nice to have the 80 teeth in there. Um, really fine adjustment. Um, you don't really have to worry about lockup. I think the paw on this inside the ratchet head has like six or seven teeth. I don't know, I haven't opened this one up. but. I'm pretty sure it has six or seven teeth on it, so you don't really have to worry about um, uh, breaking that paw at all. So this is completely electronic. Uh, this this uh, vibrates, beeps, and has uh, visual lights, so you can see exactly what's going on with the torque wrench at all times. So um, my initial my initial torque wrench that I got, I don't know if they replaced it, uh, replaced the actual torque wrench, but the the first one I got was having problems with this end button or something in here in the actual handle of it. So this takes three AA batteries. Um, I haven't gone through batteries but maybe once a year, but I only use it, uh, you know, maybe maybe four or five times a month. So I really don't, uh, don't use it that often. The issue that I was having with it is my battery compartment, something was wrong with it. As I put force down on the handle with torquing it, it would turn off on me. So I don't know what, what ended up happening with that, um, but it's all better now. Um, seems to be operating quite, uh, you know, without a without malfunction now. This is a flex head, so you do have a little bit of flex in it. Um, it's, uh, it's nice to have that little bit of flex, get away from the tire if you're torquing stuff, um, get away from some of the other components in the engine bay if you're doing head bolts or something like that. So I highly recommend this. Um, comes with a little certificate of, of calibration. Um, really nice to see exactly the specs every single time when it comes back and say, hey, this is what my torque wrench um, you know, did without a doubt. Um, and the uh, accuracy on this, uh, my tolerance, the tolerance is 2% and everything was under 1%. So very nice. Um, my, my largest number is 0.9%. Um, of deviation and they torque it clockwise uh, at 50, 150 foot pounds and then 250 foot pounds. So from the lowest spectrum to the highest spectrum. Uh, 50 is probably as low as I would go with it on the foot pound side, although it does go down to 12.5. I know that torque wrenches can be a little bit, a little bit hairy down there in the, in the bottom of the, 
of the reading or in the top of the reading for that matter. But uh, the tolerance on counterclockwise loosening is at 3% and the highest number I see there um, is 1.4. So uh, not, not bad altogether. Um, shows you what date it was calibrated, um, exactly what your ranges are, and certificate of calibration, awesome. Um, now some people are crazy, I know in the, uh, in the military of course we sent in our tor torque wrenches every year to get calibrated even if they didn't need it. Um, and some would even say if you dropped it that it needed recalibrated. Um, I don't think that you need to recalibrate a torque wrench every year. Um, yes when you drop it I can see how that can, can screw things up, but otherwise I would probably uh, send this in probably every five years. Um, it does cost money to get Snap-on to recertify uh, it. So, you know, you put the money into it every five years if you're a hobbyist, not a big deal, not a bad investment. Uh, I don't know the exact price point of this. I think it's $525 um, is, is what it cost me. It got a little, might have got a little bit of a deal on it, um, but uh, it's, it's worth every penny. Um, as, as far as durability, it's awesome. Ease of use is awesome and the value. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but you're never gonna have another torque wrench. So let's go through, I'll take you over to the car, um, or maybe I'll just pan over into a, a bench shot right here so I can show you some of the functions of it, show you exactly what it does, and then we'll torque a, tor uh, a lug nut to its specified torque, and I'll show you exactly you know, what, what it does and, and how it acts, so you can see, uh, make the decision on your own. But let's, let's cut over to that. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Okay, so of course the torque zeroing um, takes a couple seconds, but um, that's for your torque angle. Um, I have this set on a presets, so you can go through here and you can set a preset for exactly what you're doing. Um, the uh, Mercedes gets torqued at 130 newton meters, so I have it set as a preset. Um, the counter up here will tell you how many times you have torqued at this specific reading. So that's really nice to be able to know that you're done with that wheel or you're done with the entire car when you get to 20 or maybe it's 36 if you're an eight lug or 32 if you're an eight lug guy. Um, whatever it might be, you've got the counter here so you know exactly how many times you've torqued to that. So it's got Newton meters. Come on preset, get out of there. Okay, so I get it out of my preset menu. Um, it's got Newton meters, kilograms, foot pounds, and inch pounds. Um, so it's really, really versatile. And of course, it goes from, like I said before, 12.5 to 250. So you can press and hold and it will go faster and faster the longer you hold it um, and count down whatever it may be. So there's my 250 foot pounds to 12.5 foot pounds. So you have quite the range here on it. So let's go back to Newton meters. Um, we'll go back down to 130, whatever it might be. Whatever you wanna do with it, um, it has that capability. So on either side of my screen here, you see there are five LEDs. Um, these will lit, light up yellow as you're twerking. And then we have um, two red if you over torque or two green if your torque is good. So you can see the five LEDs on this side as well. So it has, it also vibrates. So if you go into the menu, if you go into, I think if you hold units, you'll bring up the menu. Um, this is to add a preset. You can go ahead and click no, I do not want to add a preset. Um, so I'm pretty sure if you click down and hold down um, return, that will bring you up to a menu where you can uh, show your previous data. You can set the head length on it. You can do a lot of other cool things, cycle counts, um, settings, stuff like that. Um, there are many things that you can do with it. So uh, depending on exactly what you want to do, you can configure all kinds of different things with it, the, the backlighting, um, whatever it might be. So let's go ahead and we're going to go back down to 130 Newton meters where I was headed before, before I got distracted. So you can click uh, one at a time, you can click whatever, However you want to do it, you can also go over here and press down um, or press enter. This will do your angles. So you're, uh, we'll, we'll also show you this. So as you, 
as you torque and you say you need 90 degrees more, so I torque to 150 foot-pounds, which I can go over here. Okay, let's say I torque to 130 newton meters and then I have to go 90 degrees more. Then I click over one more time to 90 degrees more. Now I'm doing that. It also has a cycle counter on it. Then I go to my next, you know, my next bolt or whatever I'm doing. Um, if you need to do it in succession, whatever you need to do, this is pretty versatile and being able to do it. So I'm gonna go over to preset, uh, we can do that. And then uh, you can adjust your angle however it needs to be. So one thing that I find is really cool about this torque wrench is that no matter what you're trying to do, let's say, obviously you can't spin this thing all the way around and you don't wanna necessarily mark your sockets anymore because it gets a little annoying to mark your socket and then um, you know watch your rotations so this will count your angle no matter if you're if you have to go back and click the ratchet back or, or back and forth so that's what's really nice about this is we'll add up your angle as you go so let's go ahead and pan down to the the car i will torque a uh, lug nut and i'll show you exactly what it does so i use these nylon protected uh, sockets um, these are from uh, Pittsburgh Tools, but AT Tools uses it as well. Um, they have a set. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I really like these sockets because they're nylon protected um, and I don't scratch up my aluminum wheels or whatever I'm doing with it. So these are, these are what you're going to see me use on my nice wheels. Um, some of the wheels I don't really care about and I'll use whatever. So let's go ahead and go down here to the wheel and we'll torque some stuff. Okay, so this is probably the best place I'm gonna be able to show you exactly what the torque wrench does when you're torquing. So I've got it set on my preset, 130 Newton meters. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting force on the torque wrench. It's gonna light up and show me exactly where I am in the spectrum. And then it'll slowly light up my LEDs. One, two, three, and then green, and it will vibrate and say that it's torqued. And I will show here my uh, and my force that I torqued it at for five seconds, it'll blink that on the screen. Pretty easy um, if you want to set it to your degrees. Okay, as you put force on the torque wrench, it'll show you your degrees. So if I go past here, once I get to it, it'll show one degree. Okay. Now I'm on a torque wrench, so I'm, uh, or I'm on a lug nut that I've already torqued, so I'm not going to, uh, to over torque, but as it shows here, it was blinking that I was at 141.6 Newton meters, so I over torqued that lug nut doing it. So we're gonna go ahead and back off the lug nut. We're gonna retorque. So let's go ahead and go back to our preset of 130 Newton meters. And let's retorque. Okay. You have really fine teeth on the torque wrench, which is nice. And retorque to 131.1. So it keeps it very close in your torque and it shows you your progression so you know exactly how close you are. And then it vibrates when you're done. So pretty nice. Pretty nice setup on here. All right guys, thanks for watching my review on the Snap-on Tech Angle Torque Wrench. If you wanna see more, I'll put a link in the description so you can go to the website and see exactly what it's all about, how much it costs. And uh, if you need help getting in touch with someone who can get it to you, that you don't have a Snap-on guy near you, um, I'm sure that I can get my guys Snap-on information out there and we can get you somebody in your area that can get you this specific tool. Um, worth every penny. When it comes to my tool reviews, like I've said before, durability, ease of use, and value, this thing hits all the wickets. I'm gonna put it at a nine in value. It is very expensive, but I think that all of the expenses are warranted on this specific tool. Um, there are other, other overpriced tools out there that I don't believe in, but this is for sure one of the most versatile and awesome torque wrenches I've ever used. So I definitely recommend it, and that's why I put a nine in value. Um, you get the best bang for your buck on this bad boy, um, and this is gonna be bar none a rougher approach when it comes to uh, the calibration the overall tolerances in it and just the way it's built. 
it is an awesome tool to have in your arsenal. So if you guys like, go ahead and click subscribe. Um, go ahead and like my video. I uh, appreciate the help and I look forward to interacting with you in the comments if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, and we'll, we'll uh, go over some other videos later about what changes your torque and uh, extensions and crow's feet and all those kinds of things that uh, I'm sure a lot of people are interested in. So um, I'll see you guys next video.